All right, y'all, I think I am gonna drop it off today. I think I'm gonna drop the car off to him today, actually, so I'm about to call my mom, see if that's cool. If they can give me a ride back, he said he can give me a ride back, which is crazy, I never heard that. Um, I'm about 30 minutes home, so if that's the case, I'm gonna tell him, go ahead, do it. $2,000 ain't bad, but they about to repaint the car, y'all, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm about to drop it off. It's really happening now, so I'm about to give him the 2000 and we about to get the car repainted. So I'm gonna give it one more final walk around. I'm about to go back in here and talk to the dude. I'm about to talk to my people real quick. And then, yeah. All right, uh, So I'm dropping my car off at Mako. I think today is Tuesday. I don't know what the day is. Let's just do a walk around in my car one more last time. As you can see, I did replace the back bumper in the trunk from the Daytona we found in the junkyard. Um, just do a little walk around you can see this you can see the faded paint on the top faded emblems roofs unfaded all this is faded um and yeah took the snorkel out because i'm gonna get a new one the other one was messed up but y'all see you got a crack in the front bumper crack down here. But i paid them a good amount two thousand fifty dollars we're gonna see what mako could do for the car it's a little bit more expensive half the it was like a thousand dollars just for body work the paint was only about nine hundred dollars you can see all the imperfections in it they said they're gonna fix this we're gonna paint in there good good coverage fix this um i'm gonna swap these headlights out I should have did it before, that way I didn't have to loosen that bumper back again, but y'all see it. The car is kind of dirty right now. Faded paint. But they said they're gonna get me right, so $2,000. I don't know how much smoke we might get in here, but we're gonna get the car detailed after I finish it anyways. But every car that comes out of Mako gets detailed by them after they're done. They're not gonna hit in here. I got a little rust starting in there. I might get some touch-up paint. Um, they're not gonna hit the jams, and they're going with a single stage for two thousand. Could have paid an uh, extra four hundred for the base coat, clear coat, but that's all right. Two thousand is good. And yeah, it's just a little walk around of the car. This is trunk. I'm not gonna have them painted here. We're just gonna clean that up, detail that. So we really just getting the exterior paint job. They're gonna fix this. I know I need to get these new springs. Should have got that before I dropped it off to them, but I'm in a rush. No rust on this deck lid. Hopefully they uh, paint up in here, get good coverage. I mean, it's already nice painted in there, but if they scuff in there, I hope they make sure they paint that. I'm gonna show y'all under the hood. They not gonna get under the hood, but I'm gonna just show y'all what under the hood look like. This under the hood top of my hood is scratched up i should ask if they could do it but i don't know how much extra that's gonna be inner fender's a little scratched up this is all whatever it's all right we're gonna wash it down if i ever want to i can still come back and have them just paint under the hood so but i'm, I'm gonna tell them they don't got to i mean they already not going to but you can see the little inlet hopefully they don't get too much paint in there but i think i might replace this this one not bad it just need to get cleaned up you see that's under the hood hopefully they don't it's not an obvious line and if it is it's right on here or right on this line they meet the lines but that's just a little walk around of the car dropping it off at mako i'm getting a two thousand dollar special big boy srt we're gonna sand it down it's about a thousand in body work a thousand in paint so if i was to do the body work myself a thousand in paint that's what we coming out looking like but they're gonna fix this quarter panel damage you see this um got some damage right here as well got a dent along the door leads into here and then we got damage on the fender and then we got the two plastic tabs and we got the crack in the bumper oh, i ain't telling about that one hopefully you see it and then we just got the faded paint they're gonna paint inside this little snorkel Remove the emblems. Um, 
They said they're gonna try their best to line the trunk up. Y'all see it. They're gonna try their best to do it. Uh, put the little plastic tabs back in the, the rear. I think what I should have had did is put the new springs in so the trunk closes smooth, but that way it definitely don't end up scratching the paint. See, it's already starting, to, it's already scratching it right there. So we're gonna be very careful of that and play some springs. But yeah, that's just a walk around in my car. This is a Mako I'm at. Same Mako, uh, CMB Frey and uh, 345 Tavion. Got their cars painted at. So work with the same dude. I think his name is Joe. So shout out to Joe. This is the location. If you're looking to get your charger painted, I'm gonna show y'all what type of work they do. So like I said, once again, $2,000. The people in here are so cool, bro. Like, I had, I just got all my stuff out the car, and they giving me a ride back to my house, which is 30 minutes from here on the east side. But interior not bad. I just cleaned it out the other day. But yeah, so shout out to Mako. They said it should be done by Friday, maybe Monday. Available for Tuesday morning pickup. Um, I need to take this back, but I'm gonna just leave this in the car. We're gonna leave these orange tools in the glove box. Ain't nothing in my glove box or in here. Oh shoot, I do gotta take this stuff out though. I did forget about the license, registration, all oh, yeah. that. We gotta get that. And jackpot winning lottery ticket. <sighs> but yeah, put that in my pocket. We gotta organize so much shit. I'm gonna get the car detailed after this, like I said. So somebody, you know somebody who do details, hit me up. We're gonna replace this whole black cow piece with a brand new one off another charger. Car looking good. This is one of the first mods that I said I was gonna do. So we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna wait on these Hellcat wheels. And yeah, that's just the walk around of the car. So shout out to the good people in here. I'm gonna show y'all my stuff in here. I'm about to get a thumbnail real quick though.